I often tell people that ask me, you know, what franchise I should invest in to think about the businesses that are more complicated. So think about something healthcare related or that the customer nor business owners want to do. So think junk removal. In today's video, we're going to go through a top junk removal franchise, College Hunks. We're going to go through a little bit about their, their history, franchise fee, franchise costs, uh, how much franchise owners are making, what the payback period is, all to see if owning a College Hunks might be a good idea for you. So College Hunks, they provide moving and junk removal services. In, the local, in your local area as well as long distance moving. They were founded 17 years ago by Omar Solomon as well as Nick Friedman uh, when Omar noticed an opportunity to sell services that moved people's old furniture to new homes while they were buying new furniture at his mother's establishment. At the end of 2021, they had 152 franchise locations as well as three company owned businesses. The moving services industry is pretty big where it's $18.5 billion industry in terms of revenue for all the players. And they're collectively making a $1 billion in profit every year. Luckily for college hunks, the profit margins are higher than industry standards. The initial franchise fees between 45,000 and 65,000, it's really going to depend on the territory and to own a college hunks, including all the ancillary costs, as well as additional working capital. It's going to set you back about $150,000 up to $290,000. The royalty fee is 7%. You have an ongoing technology fee, 1%, brand development fee of 2%, pretty standard. Uh, with their model, the beauty is in how they leverage independent contractors that are part of cost of goods sold. So labor consist uh, has been consistent at around 29% over the last few years. But even if it went up, we'll go through what the ratios are for the final profit. Even if it went up 5%, it's still a pretty damn profitable business. So top line sales have gone up pretty quite significantly over the last couple of years from 1.25 million all the way up to 1.63 in terms of average sales. Conservative estimate, 15% profit margin, making $220,000. Um, which isn't bad. I mean, if you're making 180K in, in owner compensation, 220K, potentially 250K, depending on the performance, if you just invested uh, $200,000 to get this business off the ground or even 250K, that's pretty good. So including the one year ramp up time to get the business off the ground, we estimate if you're working 40, 50 hours a week on this business from the time you signed the franchise agreement and are focused on getting the business open, operating and profitable, about two and a half years, potentially three years to get your return on capital, your payback. Now, imagine in five, seven, 10 years, you, you've, you've owned your college hunks and you want to move on to something else and your, your son or daughter doesn't want to uh, continue the family legacy. We estimate based on a multiple of sales of 0.44 that you could sell the business at $500,000, even $600,000, depending on the performance of the business. So that's double, if not triple the midpoint investment amount of $221,000. And the good thing is the franchisor themselves is very profitable. So they're not going anywhere. The franchisor is doing well. They had retained earnings of $8 million in 2021. Uh, so you have success on the franchisor level, franchisee level, as well as high customer reviews. Uh, so everyone's happy in, in this story from what it appears with College Hunks. And it's definitely an opportunity to consider, especially if you don't care what your, your family and friends think, and you're not concerned with saying that I work at some super hip coffee shop or some amazing healthy food acai bar this is probably the business for you to explore.